So who is at risk for multiple sclerosis? MS tends to be a uh, problem for young adults. Uh, it is less likely that you would see a child or a person over the age of 60 uh, presenting with their first symptoms of MS, but it does happen. In the age distribution curve, uh, the, the median uh, age would be probably in the, the uh, late 20s, early 30s, but that age distribution goes an awful long way in both directions. So we do occasionally see people over the age of 60 or a child under the age of 10. It's just that that's not very, very common. Women tend to be affected by MS more than men do by about a two, two and a half to one ratio in the most typical form of MS, relapsing remitting MS. Those uh, ratios are probably flipped in primary progressive multiple sclerosis. MS is more common in people of northern European descent, but again, these are trends. They're not something that, that we can uh, sort of set in stone. We do see people of, of African American descent, Asian American descent, who get multiple sclerosis. It does look like there are some groups that are almost protected from multiple sclerosis. If you look at someone of pure Polynesian descent, or Native American descent, or Inuit, uh, the, the Eskimos, very, very rare to see uh, MS in those populations. One thing that makes it tough in the United States is that we truly are a melting pot country. Uh, it's very rare that someone is 100% is anything in terms of their heritage. So the, it, you know, when you see MS maybe in someone who appears to be, say, Native American, uh, sometimes when you look back in their family, maybe there is you know, someone who is of Northern European descent, uh, and that would uh, be where the MS risk came from in that individual.